I'm David from Canon and I'm here to talk to you about four new products. So we have two new cameras and two new lenses. So first of all, let me talk briefly about the um, two new cameras. So we have the R7 and we have the R10. So the difference with these and other R system cameras that we have at the moment is these have an APS-C size sensor inside them. Currently, all of our R-series cameras have full-frame sensors, um, but these ones are APS-C, and APS-C is great if you like doing sports, action, or wildlife photography. So the R7 isn't too dissimilar from our 7D and 7D Mark II cameras, which we've had a while ago. Big difference with this one is it's very small and very lightweight. This is actually lighter than our 90D, so it's a very, very small, lightweight camera, but the specification inside it is something that we've never seen before from a camera at this kind of level. You have like 15 um, frames a second, um, you have um, over 30 million pixels in here, um, and also you have dual pixel CMOS AF2 autofocus system. So this autofocus system inside here is very, very similar to what you find on the R3, R5 or R6. So it has um, face detection, eye detection, it has vehicle detection, it'll recognize animals. It has really, really powerful autofocus system in something that's a very small, lightweight body. So like I said, if you like doing sports, wildlife, action photography, this is a great camera to look at. It's got a variable angle screen on the back, which is a three inch variable angle touch screen on the back. And it's got this new dial here on the back as well, which is a combination of our joystick and control wheel. Um, this is great because it fits really well where your thumb sits there. And it means you can change your AF point and exposure compensator, whatever you want to do in one movement, which makes it very, very quick and easy to use. The battery inside it is an LPE6, um, and it's the LP6N and NH as well. So it's the same battery that comes in like the um, 7D, comes in the 5D and the, um, uh, the 6D, also the R5 and R6. So it's a well-renowned battery that we have. We also have um, dual card slots on here as well. So you've got dual SD card slots. So it will shoot 4K, 4K at 60p. That's without a crop on there. And you can shoot for about six hours with this camera. It ha also has microphone and headphone input as well. Now, let me briefly talk about the lens that's on the front here. So this is an RFS lens. So this is designed specifically for the crop sensor cameras. Um, it will fit on a full frame body as well, but the camera will automatically go into crop mode. Um, so it is the standard um, um, RF mount. But yeah, this is RFS and this is an 18 to 150 millimeter. And you can see if I take this off the body now, you can see how small and lightweight this lens is. This lit camera will also take all of the RF lenses and with the adapter will take any of our EF and EFS lenses as well. If we come onto this little guy here, so this is the R10. So this is a this is an incredibly small camera. It's actually smaller than our 250D, which was our smallest DSLR we ever made. What I love about this, and also the same case goes for this one, is even though it's small and lightweight, it's still shaped and styled like a proper camera. And also the grip is a really nice size. So you can see how my fingers fit into the grip there, and it's um, really, really comfortable. Now, our first time at this level, you've, um, of this level of camera, we've got a joystick on the back here as well. Once again, making it very quick and easy for selecting your, your AF points. 3-inch variable angle screen again on here, and this one for the battery takes the LP17. So it is a smaller battery, but it's the same one that goes in the M6 Mark II and goes in the uh, 850D and 250D as well. This will do 4K 30p. You can do 4K 60p, but it is cropped when you do that. And this one does have microphone input, but doesn't have headphone. So this is an 18 to 45 millimeter lens. It is absolutely tiny. Um, it is such a small compact lens when you've got it like this, when you're sort of traveling with it. So there you go. That's a very quick rundown um, of the two new cameras and lenses that we've got. So we've got, yep, the R7 and the R10. Thank you for watching. Yeah.